we often get asked how long it takes to create some of the charts that we use. And then we sense a little bit of resistance and reluctance to want to invest that similar amount of time. The problem there is that we can end up relying on some of the chart default options that our tools provide. Now, I'm not going to promise to save you hours today, but what I will show you is some simple steps you can take to those defaults and then save that as a template so you can use that as a base for the future, removing that temptation to use those default outputs again. If we begin with a very simple data set here showing investment in uh, specific areas and select our data before inserting a horizontal bar chart. I'm choosing horizontal here because I've got slightly longer category labels, so I just want to make sure I'm not having to uh, rotate them uh, in any particular way. So that's why I'm using horizontal, but this will also work uh, if you were looking to do a vertical bar chart as well. This is the default output that we have got in front of us. Now your preferences might be slightly different to mine, so you might see something slightly different or slightly different colours. Um, but I'm sure we can all agree that we have to improve this. So let's take a look at what we can do. I'm going to start off initially by just removing the chart border. Our eyes do a great job of naturally framing things, so we don't need to draw a rectangle uh, around this chart. So to do that, we can right click on the chart itself, format chart area, select the border option and then no line. The second thing I'm going to do here is to remove our grid lines. Our audience doesn't need these distracting lines to help them see the shape of this data. So we can simply left click on them and hit the delete key to remove them. What's a little bit distracting for me at the moment with these bars is just the amount of white space in between them. So we can solve that by increasing the bar width. Now I'm going to do that by right clicking on our bars, format data series, and then we should see a gap width option. Change that to something around 40%. It's a little bit personal preference. It's a number that seems to normally work well. And now we've got a much better flow of our bars as we look from one to the next. I'm going to give our bars a neutral color now. So right click on them, format data series again, paint bucket tool, and in the fill option, changing that blue to a lighter gray. Again, this just helps us with our template and gives us the reminder to use a little bit of color sparingly and with emphasis we create our final design. I'm now going to spend a little bit of time on our category names and our horizontal axis. Starting with the category names, I'm going to just make the size a little bit bigger and just choose a nice neutral grey. I'm also going to remove the current axis rule that we have here. To do that, I can go into the fill option, the line and select no line. The bars give themselves a nice natural anchor point. And for the horizontal axis, again, use the same formatting options. And if the numbers have become difficult to read, we can see those. I'm also going to add some axis tick mark. So right click, format, axis, tick marks, and then select outside. And using those tick marks is in a nice light gray color. The final thing I'm going to do with our horizontal axis is just to move it to the top. Now, when our audience sees this particular chart, they get a good sense of the quantities before then looking down at the bars to evaluate them. So to do that, we actually click on our category names, right click, format axis, and then where it says horizontal axis crosses, we can select the at maximum category. And that then moves our horizontal axis to the top. The last thing I'm going to do here is to add an axis title for our horizontal axis. To do that, we can click on the chart, chart design, add chart element and add primary horizontal axis title. We should never assume our audience knows exactly what data we are plotting. And we can format that axis title. Now I think those changes took around two or three minutes to apply, but now we have a really good base position that we can save as a chart template, ensuring that we never need to make those steps. Again, saving that repetition, saving that time. And now we have our base, we can save this as a template. Simply right click the chart, select save as template, give your template a suitable name, and click save. And if we were to remove this chart and start again, just by deleting it, selecting our data, and then we can choose insert chart, and all the way down the bottom we have templates, and we have the option available to us, horizontal bar chart. And if we add this in, resizing slightly, you'll see, we have our base position again. And by having that template available to us, we've been able to save some time, and now we can invest that time to create a really effective visual. One thing we can do here is be a little bit considerate about the ordering of our bars currently in this descending alphabetical order. Let's see if we can change that to be the quantity order by the amount of investment. 
I bet he's a chart. Title, some extra information, and that all important takeaway in this case that we should invest in four areas. Let's now draw attention to those four areas. Those four areas now highlighted and emphasized, allowing our audience to create that relationship between the text and the visual below it. There's a little bit more work to do tidying up our axis. Let's do that now. You can see I've added an axis title here, a few more intervals to allow an easier comparison between the values, and uh, removed the absolute value, just taking it down thousands. With some simple steps there to enhance our default outputs and then creating a template that saves ourselves time and repetition, we've been able to invest that time to produce a visual that will inspire our audience to act. Let us know in the comments if there are any other types of visual you'd like to see the same template approach applied to. And until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.